Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. And today we're going to um, just come in with a little update. Um, last time uh, when I recorded a video, we still didn't have the striker position uh, sorted out for this season. So I just came back in. It's now uh, the end of October. We are playing in a Vanarama National League. And uh, we've actually been playing for quite a few weeks now with the new strikers. And I'm going to give you a little update. So in the other episode, the last episode, we had lost against who was that? Torquay. And um, since then, we had a, a run of a few games, actually. It's not been too bad. We managed to get um, through to the FA Cup proper, which is nice. And we are currently fifth of the league. Uh, I don't know if we have any games in hand. We don't. So fifth of the league. We're playing against um, Eastley, which I think might be a quite difficult match, actually. Because if you look at the points, we're not that much further ahead than them. So probably quite a tricky match. But what I came to show you are the new strikers. We have two new strikers on loan. We've got Adam Roscrow. Um, and yeah, he's probably a main striker really. Uh, he's been playing most consistently. And he came on loan from TNS, from Wales. He's been playing in Welsh, um, Welsh sides for a very long time. And Bailey, Bailey Ty, uh, he's an Irish player, 19 years old, uh, from Sheffield Wednesday. He's also very good, uh, quite young, got a lot of potential. Uh, hasn't really done anything as far as you know performance yet so just uh, as a backup at the moment we were able to bring these strikers in because obviously uh, I offloaded some players so I managed to get uh, Jordan much uh, on a loan with some fees and so on so that gave us em enough money to bring in those strikers now uh, I don't think we have any other updates uh, the youth league's going fine. We are third of the southwest, so that is going okay. And yeah, finances are fine. Uh, yeah, nothing, no, nothing uh, else to update. Obviously, rebuilding the cohesion of the squad. Lots of lots of changes because of the coming up to a new league. But yeah, uh, nothing else to report. Let's go straight into a match. We're going to play against Eastleigh. I think we are playing away. We'll see how this match goes. So yeah, so we had a, um, a mixed form. So with uh, we like win a few matches and then uh, lose form and lose a couple matches. So it's a bit mixed, but it does mean that we are fifth currently, uh, which should give us confidence that we're not going to be struggling for um, uh, staying in the league. We should be comfortably staying in the league, I think no risk of a relegation and there's a small chance of uh, being able to achieve promotion in the playoffs so we'll see how that goes at the end of the season i would just be happy to just stay in this league to be fair and get another go at it but um yeah we'll see sometimes staying in the league and having another go at it gives you enough to actually be able to win the league and that's obviously quite quite good to get a trophy because if it, when you go up too quickly sometimes you kind of start struggling to stay in those leagues um, like if we get promoted straight away to is what's next guy back to I think we're probably gonna struggle a lot we're not even a professional team so we're gonna struggle a lot to do be able to stay in sky back to I think but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if the board makes any investment. I know in the previous versions of the map, of the game, like maybe the two or three previous versions, it was very, very difficult to get the board to invest at all. Hopefully that's been balanced out a little bit, this this version of the game. There was one time, I think, oh, and this was many versions ago, I think. Maybe five versions ago. I managed to get a a board change and it was a sugar daddy type um, board so they just poured money into the club Hereford was amazing uh, made it to the premiership I think we won the premiership as well um, yeah 
fantastic. It's great when that happens. It's a, there's a small chance of that happening, but it hasn't happened yet since. I think, sadly, they made the game a bit too realistic now, and um, yeah, it's extremely rare for clubs to be taken over by people that just want to pour run into it. Oop. Right, so let's see, half time. Um, Akinola in and Kieran. And then I don't really have a central defender, but I guess I'll get Paige in for Scott. I noticed they balanced out the finances a bit more, so we're not hemorrhaging money as much as in previous versions of the game, which is nice. Okay, so if we lose this match, we'll be about 8th, which is not too bad, I don't think. Actually quite happy that we're not trailing at the bottom. Well, I think we managed to do some qu quite good uh, transfers, so that has helped. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Third short lucky. So first one was blocked and then blocked again and then woo. There we go. Yeah, so it's been quite fun actually. Sometimes, I think the last two versions of the game were really, really difficult if you were a small club. At least I found it with Hereford. It was just a bit of a grind. Um, not much fun at all. Just kept hemorrhaging money everywhere. Um, so couldn't really do much. But yeah, this this version seems to be a bit more balanced. So it's been, been fun. Just trying to improve the club a little bit by a little bit. Which is nice, we'll continue to do that. That's annoying right at the end of the game as well. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so um, I will come back with another update after we've done the winter review, see if we can get some new players in January. So I'll probably record another episode when the game is about February. Thanks so much for watching until the end and take care. Bye bye.